Well, it's early. It's about 2, 2.30, and we are here with Shiflet. We're going back out on the boat with Shiflet this morning, and we're gonna be doing some crabbing. Now, the first time that we went out with him, we did the oystering. It was in the winter time. It was super cold, but now it's summertime. And in the summer, it's all about the crabs. You don't know what's wrong in the open waters. You really don't know. I went trawling for flounder fishing one year with uh, Tony Pinelli on Anthony Ann. The boat was 98 feet long, 33 feet wide. And we're coming up with octopus, all kinds of shit, man. You don't know what's down there, for real. I mean, octopus, that long. Shivla, what's the weather gonna be like out there today? It'll be all right. We had a little storm down that last tide. It'll be all right after the day. It'll be all right now. Are we going out the same area that we went out the last time, or is this a different area that you're fishing? It's a different area I'm fishing. Going out the same creek, but different area. Okay. We're gonna be from, uh, from Pagan River, we're going down to Bryant's called Brown Shoals. And that's close to the Jane River Bridge. You get to see the bridge and you're really good. And you got your, 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 your big hump in the bridge and then you got the little hump, I call it. I'll be from the little hump in with my pots. How many how many pots are we checking today? Oh, I ain't got 305 of them. 305? I had read it 500 or more, but I stomped all the old ones off and I just got good stuff. You know, 305. So how many bushels of crabs are you guys getting a day? I should have over 30 today. And what's the limit that you guys are able to catch? I've got a 500 pot license. I'm like 47. You can get 47 bushels? I'm like 47 a day. So what's a bushel of crab right now costing? It all depends. I think the jumbos are like 60. And then the regular jimmies, I think they're like 25 or 30. Then your females are 35. I gotta set up the thing on it. What you want me to do? Hey, don't be afraid to be like A on do that. Like, I'm ready to do well, something. I'll put your ass to work, Miss Ham. Yeah, I wanna do something. I mean, something. but Jamie, man, he's got the key to the damn pile house. Seen nobody operate no boat like this man. Did you just parallel park that thing? Catch! Everage too! <laughs> Everage! <laughs> I'm gonna harm a marshmallow. <laughs> What'd he say? I'm gonna harm a marshmallow. <laughs>
Fabrica. Yeah. Look at them legs. Yeah. Woo! You always rinse the pot off when you bring him up. It gets all your slime and shit off your pot. Keep your pot from piling up quick. You always wash him, slam him. The more you're handling, you know, you get everything off, less chance you got to get the pot fouled up. You don't want your pot to foul up. So which ones are you throwing back? Um, hold that on. Under five inches. Small crab. Yeah. Dave, what you think of all this? Another hustle. This one's just on the water. Gotta pay bills on that one. What do you say, Jacob? Gotta pay bills on that one. A good way to do it. You know, when you're locked up, people say a lot of crazy things. You were somebody I never doubted did this for a living and knew what you were talking about when it came to the water. Are these? And what's in the middle? One. Big hard, big hard, and soft. So, what's your best crab right now? Those are the probation dogs. They're called POs, pickouts. It's some violent crabs. Look, they're fighting. Good blood, Dave. Really? Yeah, he got, he got me good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't like. She didn't like that. You got no mercy on no <laughs> How'd that feel? Sucked. <laughs> Sucked bad. Look, the ones you threw back are like standing next to the pot, like. Don't go into the club. Hold up socks protesting. Like, it's not a buffet. <laughs> I mean, can you, I mean, can you imagine what these guys are going through right now? This is a serious situation here. Who are you talking about, the crabs? The crabs, the crabs. They're in this pot going, mm, the fish was not that good. It was not worth it. So you got multiple lines out here. Yeah. We, we're on the second line now. How many uh, how many pots are in this line? Sixty. Oh, this is a long line here. And you fish these same pots every single day? Six days a week. Love it, sir. Rain or 
Russia. And you make these pods too, don't you? Me and his Eddie. I make some, and Dad makes some. I love making them the girl will get time. I mean, you know. Show me how to make them. Yeah, no problem. Very talented work. It's like painting and painting. It's, it's, you know, like putting a motor together. How long does it take you to put together a pot? If everything's ready to put together, 30 minutes. If everything's shaped and ready to roll. But if you count everything, cutting off the coal, shaping, prepping everything, you got an hour and every prep out. Easy. Eels get the pot do that. An eel did that to him? Yeah. What did they do? They beat the back fins off, see them? Yeah. Suck the meat out of them. He's sucking me right out of him. Oh, yeah. Stink too, you smell him? Yeah. yeah. With those gloves on, if they pinch you, does it still hurt? Oh, yeah. I wear cotton gloves underneath some too. Yeah, so you got two pair of gloves on. Yeah. You don't wear them cotton gloves, you're in for hell. How long have you been doing this type of work? Uh, it's about 15. And you're 15, 20. I did it on and off, but I got the DD at 16, and I've been out ever since working. So you're 21 now, you've been doing it for six years? Yeah. Since I've been able to work, I've been able You like this type of work? Yeah. It's better than being inside a building, taking on a computer. That's what I do for a living. Right after you get out and do something like this. <laughs> 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 you get tired of looking at him? <laughs> Mo crabs, more money. That's a t-shirt right there, Shipper. More crabs, more money. Yeah, more crabs, more money. We're gonna make them one. We're gonna make Shipper in the t-shirt and say more crabs, more money. Yeah, how deep is the water? Eight, eight and a half foot here. I'll fish them in a little while, be an 18, 19 foot. Wow. About a 40 foot of buoy line I go up. You ever had to pull these up by hand? First four years of my life. Yeah. Me and Dad, you know, starting out, didn't have no pop all the way to pull my hand. Back breaking? Yeah. Well, you know, I was young, and I didn't care. You know. You're a lot of things young when you want to do with old. I've lived that life. What? Ultra pain. Ultra pain is right now. Tell you one thing. You ain't got to live the right way. You ain't going to live at all. But the law is so bad now. You ain't got to do it right or you ain't going to live. I hate buying that. I hate buying that. So Jacob, is your job the hardest job? Oh, yeah. I try to make it easier on everybody else now. So everybody else really got to has to do this, has to do that. I already have it done, you know? Yeah. It's like that, he's begging a little bit. I'll, I'll have it ready for him, stuff like that. If that box gets full, I'll have, it, I'll have the next one ready for him, you know? You got bit. Oh, there's a fish in there, Dave. Go in there, stick your hand in the snake pit. <laughs> What'd you try to blindfold the crab? Oh, that's a. There you go. We keeping the perch?
So somebody probably just came and took some crabs. And, and put them out of the and pile. You see that type of stuff often? Yeah, broccoli every day. looked up in a minute I'm looking around like where in the world am I right now I have no clue can we go swimming <laughs> <laughs> you're right about that one <laughs> what'd you say you're gonna be gone oh he's saying the uh, five not tied The current will take yeah, it. Yeah, I'm good. I started working at when I was seven years old. But uh, that was all, always my uh, summer vacation, culling grass with that. Then uh, I started full time when I was uh, 15 to 10 months old. I was almost 16 months, 16 years old when I. I started full time about, I'm 51 now. Too late to change anything then? I just wish my daddy could be with me because uh, I, I miss him. We had a good time, we had a bad time. <clears throat> Agreed to put a lot and disagreed to put a lot, but I miss him. I miss him a lot. for a prettier day though. Yeah. You said it earlier, you said it was gonna clear up out here. You guys get caught out here in some bad storms? About a month and a half ago we were here in a bad one. Check this fishing pole out. Check this what out? Fishing pole. Why are you looking at fishing poles? It's a slingshot. You ready to start fishing? Nap time. Ain't no nap time. It's work time. Yeah, I've been working. I've been working two jobs. <laughs> I'm having a blast though. One day, wore out. I knew you were playing. Tired, tired. I see Mountain. I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew. I'm on six cups of coffee and a Mountain Dew now. <laughs> you can't even blink. Hey Cody, will you hand me that bag? <laughs> Cody with the Chicharinos. <laughs> this was shiftless candy while he was locked up. Fireballs. I'm still hooked on him. Was there ever anybody who could ask you for a fireball that you wouldn't give one to? That was a few. <laughs> Wells. Corey Wells. Corey Wells. Oh, you couldn't stand that guy. He was, he was, uh, he was a character, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a words to describe him, you know. <laughs> the dictionary had it in there. Him and old CB, they were buddies, weren't they? Cow's bag, that's what I'm saying, CB, cow's bag. 28th of this month, I'm off of papers. Really? How's that been for you? I uh, want well, stay work, stay, you know, focus on work and don't hang around trash, you won't become trash. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. How you feeling, Dave? You're looking a little seasick. It's not seasick. <laughs> hey! I'm a rough day, you know. I said, you see, sick? He said, no, I'm sick of the seat. <laughs> see it all the time. <laughs> <laughs>
That's pretty damn good. <laughs> Jamie, you sick of the sea? <laughs> We got a crab fight about to take place. Woo, they getting rowdy up in this, up in this bushing. Hey, they look coming to get me now. Hey, they're jumping them. <laughs> going in, going in. Look, look at him. <laughs> I'm just messing with <laughs> Did you get all of that on camera? I swear I hope so. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see all that all the green come out of him when he's um oh, <laughs> It was like a wet sponge. <laughs> what? It was like a wet sponge. It was disgusting, dude. It was like a giant backbone. It was just like green just came out of it. All <laughs> What'd you do that for? Oh my god. We're having a good day. So you ruined that one crab. Oh, she was already dead. Oh, that was a dead crab? So, so it was, why was it just green on the inside? Oh, so it's supposed to be that color? Don't squeeze another one, dude. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, okay, wait, what are you doing now? How do you do that? Hold it shell down like that? I'm exhausted y'all exhausted but it was an awesome day again going out with shiftlet and his crew jacob and jamie just really awesome hospitable individuals probably some of the nicest folks you could ever meet and definitely some of the hardest working guys as well dave you were getting your hands dirty in the in in, in them crabs man i was having fun man <laughs> when you were talking about uh, hardest working individuals. Yo, they did not stop until it was done. Again, for those of you who don't know, uh, Shiflet was a bunkie of mine, a guy that, you know, me and him served time together. This guy slept on the top bunk above my bunk. You had him on the top bunk? I didn't have him. The, the, the Department of Corrections had him on the top bunk. And you know, it's just crazy because this was a guy that uh, definitely did some time with. And then coming home and being able to see this guy, a guy who talked so much about fishing, crabbing, oystering while locked up and being able to come out here for the second time and see that it was real. 
well to see them in action you know the first time that i came out here it was oystering and this time it was crabbing and the one thing that i got to say is this crabbing was way more intense uh, than that oystering and it was just really awesome to be able to go out here sort of like on a after prison show meets deadliest catch meets wicked tuna fishing for a living after prison something you know what i like about it something like dave i was looking for a, a spot to wrap this video up but you just you know you just continue you, you just you can cut it out go ahead man I what gonna, what dave what you know you meet guys in prison and we've talked about this before you know they, they talk about what they got and what they do and what they've done you know, you said, you know, Shiflet was in there telling you all about this. And all about this what? Shiflet was, you know, in there telling you all about this stuff and what he does. But to come out and actually see that it was real, that he wasn't BSing, he wasn't wailing, is kind of cool. You know, just... No, he wasn't wailing at all, Dave. He was, he was crabbing. He was crabbing. <laughs>